Welcome back to Pioneer Field. I'm with head coach Jeff Hooker after the Pioneers' dramatic one to nothing overtime victory. And coach, your overall assessment of tonight's game. Um, you know, I was I was impressed with uh, the first half, the first 20, 25 minutes. Um, I thought we matched up well against their formation, uh, had the ball, the, the, the final pass was, was missing for us, the final cross, the run, um, you know, getting the ball on goal. Um, got a lot of corner kicks out of it. Um, but you know, just we just needed to uh, to do a little bit more um, in that first half. I think the team felt good at halftime, uh, and when you have the majority of the ball, a lot of times you're going to feel that way. But you know, we emphasize you know we, we haven't scored a goal yet, and one counterattack. You know, they were they were dangerous on corner kicks and had a couple counters because we we kind of gave the ball away. Um, they changed formations in the second half, which helped them, and we couldn't quite figure it out on our own uh, without me having to, to tell the team where to step and how to rotate and things like that. So that was a little bit disappointing. But, you know, after that uh, TV time out, I, I think in the second half, uh, we, we, we lifted our game uh, and, and played a lot better. What would you like to see your team do better moving forward? Um, you know, in the final third of being crisp and being a little bit more aggressive. You know, we had, uh, had some 2v1s wide. We couldn't get the ball out to the wide player who, you know, could have come running in and had a free cross, you know, and just the execution part of it. You know, we got a little tired in the first half. You know, we, we gave balls away. You know, you can't give a ball away, um, you know, uh, to, to, to a team and uh, they'll, they'll punish you. Mary DeWalt, toward the end of regulation, nearly snuck one in. How did you see it from your vantage point? Um, and that's the one we've been trying to get her the ball. And there's a couple times she made great runs, so I don't know if she's going to be able to keep doing it. You know, she made a 20, 25 yard run twice and we couldn't get her the ball. Um, that time, I think she just tried to put it right in front of the keeper. She was dead tired. Uh, almost went over the keeper's head. Keeper made an unbelievable save, you know, to keep that in, uh, or to keep that out of the goal, sorry. But, um, yeah, it was a great little cross by Mary to just lay it in there and uh, see what kind of pressure you can put on the keeper. Take us through the game winner, Hannah Adler with the corner kick. Yeah, and uh, um, for the most part, um, Hannah Bricker is supposed to be on those. Her hamstring was hurting a little bit, and so she didn't want to go forward. Um, and uh, the service was great. Uh, we got a lot of interference, and we just, you know, we talked about scrappy goals, and we haven't scored uh, scrappy goals in a while. And that was exactly it. Everybody kept moving, everybody kept the ball alive all the time. You know, J Jesse used her, her big body well, you know, backed in, uh, was able to turn and, and keep it on goal, um, and uh, deflected and went in. So, really happy for her. It looked like Jesse didn't rush it. She was quick, but she didn't rush it in panic and was able to get it on target for the goal. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and uh, you know, we tried to we tried to tell him when we went on to overtime. If you get that final chance, you know, take a deep breath. You know. In the pregame, we talked about all your openers. This one has to rank up among your favorites. Yeah, for sure. Anytime you get a win at home, that's what you want. Jeff Hooker, congratulations. Good luck Saturday, or Sunday against Colorado State. Thank you.